Bradford Jampo on this because you see in the end Professor Kobi Mensa makes reference to the author or the answers to the questions the context in which they were given and whether it even makes the, the expected impact or not now these were answers that bothers on governance seeking the mandate of the people as a professor of political science and some of the answers that he gave, which Professor Kodmensa says, it, it, it really is a bit questionable. Dr. Bano wants us to look at it differently. How did that strike you? All right. Thank you very much. Um, before then, um, I have received another message. I've been receiving this message for some time now. Right. Produce buying company, produce workers yes, PBC. are the produce buying yeah. company are complaining that for 13 months up to mm -hmm. now, they've not been paid. And um, they, months, yeah. yeah, yeah. And someone has always been sending me this message. And um, um, when I sat here, he sent the same message 13, th for 13 months. You, you, you don't remember we've been having this conversation, in fact, at least here yeah. on, on Ghana tonight, at least. Yeah, they, so, they went on demonstrations. So, um, yes. Dr. Bano, add your voice um, to it and let them be paid. Um, I'm sure. All these things would contribute to the electoral fortunes of um, the party it's that PBC, you, right? Yeah, PBC. Yeah, mm. very important. Okay, so on um, Dr. Baumia and um, what he said, and the whole idea of uh, media encounter. I want to have a holistic assessment of um, everything that was done there. Um, I must put it on record. I have a lot of respect for Dr. Baumia, and um, I, I, I think that, uh, in my view, he came in as a very gentle person, gentle person, and um, I want him to stick to that posture because there are people who are rough and they appeal to a certain segment of the voting population. And there are people who are very gentle, and they also have the, peop the, the kinds of people they appeal to. And um, sometimes, in an attempt to change, switch from one, uh, one posture or persona to the other, mm -hmm. you have a lot of difficulty. So I believe he's a gentleman. He should play his politics as a gentle person he is, and then he would have, he would definitely have the people um, he appealed to, um, he would definitely endear himself to the people that um, he appeals to. Um, the media encounter, I, I, I try to look at the caliber of people that he encountered. Number one, how were they um, selected? He said you are not there, but okay, how were they selected? We heard that um, some people were not allowed to go. Why were they not allowed to go? And then, more importantly, what were the, the questions that they, they posed? Uh, some asked very sensible questions. Some um, uh, um, asked very useless questions. Um, if you've had the opportunity um, to s speak to a presidential hopeful, you are supposed to um, articulate concerns that um, um, reflect the mood and sensibilities of the good people of Ghana. Some asked very sensible questions, some asked very useless questions, and I wonder how they, they got the opportunity um, um, to be there. And in terms of responding, um, the, the responses, of, the, of Dr. Bamud Baumia. You see, I was um, a bit surprised. You see, um, I have followed the conduct of, the, the, I have followed such engagement with people who are expected or who are perceived to be very discerning from, from 2004 when I worked at the IEA till 2018 mm -hmm. that I left. So, when I was there, we were working on, we were doing what we called media engagement, mm -hmm. town hall meetings, and presidential debates. Yeah. Now, oftentimes, ruling governments do not participate in presidential debates. Okay, ruling governments would always want to stand presidential debates. In the history of presidential debates in Ghana, I think it's only one 
that a certain government participated. And oh, that was 2012, yes. when NDC in government had actually boycotted. They said they were not going to do it. Then suddenly, Prof. Mills died. And Mahama had just less than three months to contest an election. And an election that he was not prepared to contest. And then suddenly, the certain president died. And then he had to find a way to um, engage the people and there himself. So then the NBC that had gone out of its way to say we will not participate suddenly came back, okay, to say they will participate. So that's the first time. And the reason why certain governments always shy away from, from um, such presidential engagement. such engagement mm -hmm. is that um, they see that, look, you are going to be, if it's debate, for instance, um, you are going to be, if you don't take time, ambushed by so many or the rest of the aspirants who may not, who may not be happy with what is going on. And they, they're going to be throwing every, they're going to highlight the challenges and keep all the blames, you know, on you. So they, they, they want to, they would always want to stay away from such mm -hmm. um, um, platforms where, where the blames may be heaped on them by the other aspirants. Now, whether you like it or not, it is only the one who is not asleep and pretending to be sleeping who would openly and boldly say that things are not hard in Ghana. It is only the one who wants to tickle himself and laugh who will say that things are not bad in Ga uh, are not hard in Ghana. It is only the one who is benefiting from what is going on. It is only the one who doesn't buy fuel. It is only the one who doesn't go to ma the market or when he goes to market, whatever he buys, he has enough resources being sponsored, you know, given to him or her by the state. Who would say that things are not hard? I mean, to the ordinary Ghanaian, things are very difficult. As I speak to you, as UTAC president, I have members, my members who are going on retirement, and they keep asking me, is my pension going to be paid? Are we going to receive? It's never happened before. You work hard, and when you are going on pension, you smile to the bank. We have our GU. People, people are asking, so are they going to pay? There are so many things that are happening that are unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so if you are a vice president and you've been given the mandate to lead your party as flag bearer, and we are in such difficult times, and some or many of the difficulties cannot be placed at your doorstep. It becomes surprising for you to mount that platform that I want to engage them. You see, but when he decided to do that, I said, well, Ojanya Wasson, why should not be called that one thing? Okusye say, or bet na kwa ntim ponsua, oni mrika na owo akukudu. So how do I say it in English? Ojanya Wasson, why should not? See, a goat that is confident um, is uh, always... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, some of the things you say it in the tree. You see, say or bet na quantum point. So, if you see Okusi on the high road, it means it is either com it, it it has it has the power to run faster, or it is very confident. In so I said, well, the man knows what he's up to. So, if he wants to engage, then let us listen to. But I thought that politically, it was an unwise thing. Because you engage the media? Yes. Because, no, no, no. Hold on. Because you were going to be taking on questions and blame of your boss that you may not be able to offer adequate answer to. And if you are not able to answer adequately, then you take the blame. <coughs> For instance, I was, I was very worried about his, his response about the Tamale, um, Sunyani, um, Shooting, a teacher, sorry, a teacher man shootings. He could see that it's not this one, it cannot be blamed on him. But he was boxed in the corner to respond. And then you can see the stammering and all that. I say, oh, these things are not good for him. Let me say it. Some people in the NDC, they don't like it when I say, but let me say it. You see, go read our constitution. 
and look at the role that is given to a, a vice president. Just go and read it. See, a vice president has no role apart from some minor, minor things that are given. So if you have a president... No, but the president gave him a role. Mm -hmm. um, you let me... Let, I don't know what... Uh, uh, I mean, that he was, <laughs> he was coming to fix the problem. Yes. Oh, you let me, let me do my <laughs> argument. <laughs> the so so the point is, uh, honestly... Bamiya has um, also given uh, that point. And honestly, see, if you get a daring president, a president who wants to be a political king con, a president who loves fans, a president who wants to take every accolade and every praise... He would not give you anything to do. You would just be there. And so it is well, it may well be true that the president told the whole of Ghana that, look, Baumia is going to do X, Y, Z. But if he said that, it may just be that, well, I was saying that, you know, when he was being made, uh, he was um, being considered, there were huge rejections. People didn't mm -hmm. like it. And the president had to say things to 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 win um, the hearts of those who didn't like it. So it may well be that, that look, he was sold as well. It, it, will, it, will be that, it will it may well be that the president used those descriptions just to sell him. I'm just making a point. You let me finish. Mm -hmm. So it is possible that he came in. Yeah, well, <laughs> it is so come stop that. I said, don't put me and come <laughs> together. <laughs> it's okay. No, no. So it may well be that. Um, President just marketed him. But you get in there and you see the power blocks. I'm telling you there are power blocks in the MPP now that are more powerful than the, uh, the vice president, even though he's number two. So you see the power blocks. We know of the conflict between him and the finance minister. That finance minister was not even attending his meetings. And all. We know. So you would see the power blocks and you know that you, you, you see your smoothness level. That you may be a running mate, you may have been marketed, but then eventually there may be nothing that you may be able to do. <laughs> but you see, to be taken serious, to be taken serious, I, I would have laughed to hear and I would, have, I would have respected him even more if he had appealed to Ghanaians, if he had confessed. Prof, okay. Prof, prof, uh, no, 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 he, he's done that. No, I mean, no, 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 you, you don't know where I'm yeah, going. You yeah, let me finish. Yeah, he's done that. You, you okay. let, let me go. Yeah. Let, let, you don't know where I'm going. On the 18th. No, no. He, you, 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 yeah. I know yeah. where I'm going. You, yeah. you, you wait. <laughs> no, just for the record. No, no, no. no. I, uh, you see, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Um, Ponko, Mama, Ejenja. You see, if, if your Ponko is going somewhere, he knows where he's going. He doesn't care. care. Yes. So you let me go. I know where I'm going. Ponko, Mama, Ejenja. You see, listen. You, when you were in an opposition, you created an impression in the psyche of many Ghanaians that a vice president has so much to do to change the governance of a country. So you hunted Jabesh, well, um, Kwesi Imisa.